All right, awaited uh, at long last. If you have a type which is wrapped like a promise, uh, how do you get the value from inside the wrapped type? That's that's what awaited stands to solve. So in this example, we have promise that returns a string, and that's alias to example type. But we want to just get string. We want to kind of like grab it from out from inside of that value. So here we are. Um, yeah, and this is this first example is the same one that I was talking about. But we have a couple other few test cases here. So yeah, where would you start with something like this, John? How would you how would you handle it? Um, you know, I've never done this specific thing before, but whenever I see this type of uh, situation where you want to kind of steal a type from another type, like from within, mm -hmm. usually it's where you want to use infer mm -hmm. to create a reference somewhere. So I'm going to try to do this. Uh, let's do um, uh, infer u for this. Mm -hmm. And if we can get it, it's that. And if not, it's never. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, what did I type? Oh, uh, we I have a problem it. here. So the problem is, in order to use the infer keyword, you have to extend something. And so like mm. in this case, sometimes it's like usually the best thing to try is just like T extends. Like, yeah, there we go. Something like that. Um, okay, let's see. We still have a couple of failing test cases here. So that one doesn't error when it's supposed to. And let's look at I guess uh, A2, or I'm sorry, A3 is the first, A, the, the threes are the first ones to be failing. So we see here that it doesn't handle a wrapped, like a promise in a promise. It doesn't go a level deep. Um, I, we could solve this with, you know, just, we could solve this by wrapping, like going one level deeper, I, I suppose, um, or using recursion. There's another thing I can show you, but I, w I wouldn't mind showing you is... Uh, there's this thing called promise like. Uh, let me just try to grab it because I don't want to type x equals promise like. So, uh, oops, I typed it wrong. So for anybody watching, if sometimes you want to grab something from the standard library that TypeScript comes with, you can just kind of make an alias and grab it by going to it with F12 or go to definition. So promise like is a thing that uh, I don't know. It's, it's what it says. Promise like it has a then. And it's typed kind of like you would expect a promise to be typed. If you change this to to promise like, um, I think that will I think that will solve it. No, it, oh, oh, is this a nope? Hmm. Okay, never mind. Uh, well, let's see if we can solve it using recursion. Then I think okay. it's probably still better to use promise like because it's less specific. But okay, sure. Um, so if it is, how about this? Instead of returning something else let's return t on the never case so when it isn't a promise then we do that but when it is a promise uh we'll go another level so that it'll return the other one and okay it looks like that works but we have one problem which is yeah. if we're only we're not we're no longer returning an error when it's not a promise type right um and obviously the problem with that is that, yeah, if we wanted to make sure it was a promise, we would need to make sure there's at least one layer of promise. And there's a couple of different ways we could do that. Uh, we could add another type that kind of acts as the um, the unwrapper that we recurse to. Um, or we could probably add another layer to this. I think it's probably easiest to just do something like... Uh, something like this you see this all the time with typescript libraries where you have mm -hmm. um one of these and now we can do it never for the other case and i believe oh we still have a problem let's see what happened here uh how did we do this wrong how does it grab oh sorry because we have to finish these cases i added these and maybe i uh oh oh okay 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 sorry i shouldn't um, have done that <laughs> That's all right. Uh, cool. All right. Now we're still not passing, actually. So it's just on this we're error. So an error mm, here. Okay. So we could probably fix that with the generic constraint here, right? Mm, yeah. You know what? We could do that. That's probably the easiest way to do that. And then, like, I guess it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what goes in there. It just matters that it's some kind of promise. So we're not grabbing that value, so we can just use uh, unknown. You know, I'm seeing the problem because the other way around where we try to do this um, recursion mm -hmm. doesn't work specifically because it's going to return never. 
Um, okay, apparently we can't simplify that because that's any. Can we uh, unknown? Can we make it any? Is that still good? Um, no, we cannot. Does not, oh, because oh, it doesn't I satisfy see. the constraint. Yeah, now now the problem is that it's trying to use it for something it doesn't know as a promise. We so, actually have to have this wrapped layer for this to work, right? So let me show you one of the examples. So this is one of the examples that I saw online. I looked online for other ways that people have solved this on the type challenges, and this one was one of the ways too, which is extremely similar to what you just wrote. It's using it's using ah. it's using this trick here. So it like recursed at a different level, but it did it did the second kind of nested condition first and then if it gets to this state then we can assert to TypeScript that you is a promise because we we did that up here otherwise just return you and if not in the base case just return t clever cool huh yeah that All was right. great this is a cool one i like this one and this is the kind of thing that um john and i did flow back in the day and this was something that flow had a little earlier than typescript like being able to do this kind of uh like grabbing things grabbing the return type I, I, it was like a big deal to me when typescript launched with uh the ability to get return types of functions you couldn't do this kind of thing so um cool any okay. other thoughts yeah i kind of like that uh end result it's nice and elegant don't need any intermediate types kind of nice <laughs>